Indian Air Force's Software Development Institute has successfully developed the program for the software defined radio for the Tejas fighter jet at zero cost, outperforming a defense public sector undertaking that had quoted a staggering 290 crore rupees for the same task. The CEO of Flying Wedge Defense has made a bold claim that his company is developing an unmanned aircraft capable of taking on enemy fighter jets such as the F-16. The CEO of Polish firm WB Group has said that the company has completed an order for 120 war meat loitering munitions to the Indian Army, and the company has set up a joint venture in India, and is planning more investments both for the Indian market and exports. Reports indicate that Armenia is all set to finalize an order for Prale short-range tactical ballistic missiles from India. Indian firm Star Aerospace has won a 18 crore rupees contract to supply 2,000 upgrade kits for INSA's LMG for the Indian Army. Indonesia has shown interest in acquiring the Medani Group developed Shoya bulletproof vehicle. India's military blueprint for theatre commands is awaiting final approval from Prime Minister Modi. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that China, India and Brazil could act as mediators in potential peace talks over Ukraine. Indian Army has inducted unspecified units of crucial unmanned ground vehicle from Indian firm Club First for surveillance and logistic support. Mohindra Group and Israeli firm Centrix Limited have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore opportunities for developing and supplying differentiated anti-drone solutions in India for civilian and military applications. The DRDO is looking for Indian industry partner for design and realization of electro-optical targeting system for the AMCA, thus aligning the AMCA more closely with international standards for fifth-generation fighters. The electro-optical targeting system are passive sensors designed to improve the detection, tracking and engagement of targets, without compromising the aircraft's stealth profile, as unlike radar systems. The electro-optical targeting system does not emit signals. According to latest reports, the arrival of the six Apache attack helicopters for the Indian Army has been delayed due to recent Apache crashes in the US Army. Investigations into these crashes have identified potential issues with the Apache, specifically an increase in electrical power generator failures, that result in a dangerous buildup of smoke in the cockpit. Boeing has placed a hold on all new deliveries of the Apache, and this hold will remain in effect until the underlying issues are fully addressed and validated through additional testing. The DRDO is revisiting its long-standing ambition of developing a long-range supersonic cruise missile, and this development comes as a potential complement or replacement to the existing BrahMos cruise missile. It would have an impressive speed of Mach 3.2 and a range of over 600 kilometers, that could be used for applications such as a surface-to-surface, air-to-surface, and even surface-to-air and anti-ship missile. Russia has extended an offer to India to replace Ukrainian-made gas turbine engines on Indian Navy warships. Russia's United Engine Corporation has offered its M90 FR engine, Furthermore, Russia has expressed its willingness to establish local production of M90 FR engines in India. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,